Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use apt-get command to install packages or remove packages or uh, manage packages uh, on your uh, Debian-based Linux operating system. So as you all know that Ubuntu is a Debian-based operating system. And in most of the Debian-based operating system, you can use apt-get command to do uh, you know most of the things related with installing packages or removing packages or updating the package uh, manager which are uh, you know there on your system right so first of all what is apt-get apt-get is a command line tool for working with apt software packages and uh, what's uh, the full form of apt apt is the advanced packaging tool which are available for uh, the Debian based operating system, right? Now, if you are using, uh, for example, uh, the Red Hat based uh, operating system, for example, Fedora or CentOS, you uh, can use yum, or I think there is one more command uh, called dnf command instead of apt-get, right? So for all Debian based operating system, you can use apt-get. So just use apt get and uh, because you may you need to have super user privileges for using this apt get command because you are installing it on your system. You just need to use uh, sudo before your uh, apt get command. Now there are uh, you know bunch of uh, command which you can use with apt get and first is the command called update. Okay, so apt get update. And what this command is going to do is it's going to resynchronize your local package file, uh, you know, as compared to the remote, uh, you know, server. So it's going to resynchronize your local index of package files. Okay. And this package files are, uh, you know, uh, saved in a file called etc forward slash app forward slash sources dot list. So I'm going to show you this file once I uh, perform this command. So just press enter here and give your uh, password and then once again press enter and it's going to update all the packages from the remote repository. So you can see it's uh, you know updating uh, all the packages from the remote uh, repository. And it's going to take a few seconds I think and then uh, all the packages will be updated. Okay. Now, as I told you, you can see this file, for example, I can do nano for this and then etc and then apt and then uh, sources, I think, sources dot list. Okay, and then press enter and you can see there is this file and in this file, all the repositories uh, where you can find these repositories and uh, you know this list of packages are there okay so you can update this package manually also but um, you know most of the time when you are new you don't want to change this file it's going to be changed uh, automatically by this update command right but whenever you are a more experienced uh, linux user uh, you can change it uh, if you know what you are doing. Okay, so for now I'm going to just give uh, control X command to exit out of uh, this file But these all packages are stored uh, in this file. Okay, so now you know where they are stored Okay, so I'm going to just clear the terminal Now for example, I want to install uh, some software. So how you can install it. So for example, I want to install uh, a software called Java, but I need to know whether it's there on my system or not. So I can just uh, give this command Java minus uh, version and then press enter. And it's going to give me the version of uh, Java. So it gives me, uh, you know, Java 1.7.0. So I know that Java is already installed, so I don't need to install it. So let's try once uh, again. For example, I know that php 5 is not installed on my system so i can use once again um, php minus uh, version and uh, now it says uh, 
the program PHP 5 is currently not installed. You can install uh, it by typing sudo apt-get install php5 cli command right so if the package or the software is not installed sometimes it's also going to give you the hint whatever command you can use to install the software for example it's uh, giving us the hint that you can use this command to install php5 but it's not always correct maybe you want uh, the different version of uh, the php or for example you want only the php5 not the cli cli uh, stand for uh, command line interface right so to install a software you do the same so you just write sudo apt minus get install and then for example php5 which is the software i want to install right and then press enter and you notice that it doesn't uh, require my password this time because I already have given this password earlier, right? Now, what this command is going to do is it's going to first of all uh, uh, recognize that whatever uh, extra software or dependencies uh, this PHP 5 software requires, and it's going to make uh, a list of all the you know dependencies and software this PHP software requires, and and then. Is going to show you this list and it's also going to show you uh, the amount of uh, you know space it's going to take on your computer so for example this php5 is going to take 25.7 uh, uh, megabyte of memory on my system and then it's going to ask you whether you want to install it this much amount of memory will be taken so if you want to install it you can just say why it can be small y or capital y and then press enter and it's going to start installing this software now it can take uh, you know few seconds to few minutes to install a particular package depending upon the size of this package and your internet uh, you know availability so just uh, let it install and then once uh, it will be installed we can uh, see how we can remove it okay so once uh, this package or software is, is installed for example i installed php5 i can uh, now know the version of it so i can uh, just give the clear command and then once again i'm going to give this uh, php5 version and now it's uh, giving me different errors which says php parse error so because now php5 is installed on my system php5 takes a file uh, name with it for example php5 uh, and the file name right something like this and uh, now because the php5 is installed here to know the version you can just use uh, instead of uh, php5 minus version you just uh, need to write php5 minus v and then press enter and it's going to show you the version of it so now i know that this version of php is installed on my system now for example sometimes you want to remove a software from a system and for this you can use uh, once again uh, sudo apt-get install so you can use uh, sudo apt-get but instead of install you can use remove command with this okay so just use remove with this apt-get command and it's going to uh, you know remove the software from the system but keep in mind it's not going to uh, remove all the configuration from your system it's just going to remove this software so if you remember whenever we have uh, installed uh, this uh, software using apt-get install it has uh, you know also downloaded and installed some bunch of dependency of uh, this uh, php5 uh, software for example apache and uh, different kind of uh, libraries right now this command is only going to remove this it's not going to remove the configurations or any other thing which is dependent on uh, this uh, php5 so just give this command and then it's going to just say that it's going to be removed and then just press y and press enter and then sometimes it's going to be removed this uh, you know software now if you don't if you want to uh, you know remove the configuration files also for this php you can just use uh, the purge flag with this so just write uh, p u r g e here 
for purge. So sudo apt get remove minus minus purge and then this command php5 and what it's going to do is it's going to remove uh, all the configuration file uh, related to this php5 okay now uh, sometimes you also want to remove some of the libraries or some of the sys, uh, you know softwares which are not used by their uh, you know initial parent softwares right and for this you can use a command called uh, sudo apt get auto remove okay so auto remove and uh, this auto remove command is used to remove packages that were automatically installed to satisfy the dependency for the other packages and are now no longer needed okay so once you give this command you will uh, see uh, you know once again uh, this uh, these bunch of uh, you know libraries which are which are now going to be uninstalled so if you remember when we have installed php5 with this uh, this apache uh, you know software also comes this lib files or libraries also came with uh, this php so now because we have uninstalled php these uh, you know packages are also not installed uh, you know required so you can uh, uninstall them but always carefully uh, read this list sometimes you uh, you know end up uh, uninstalling the software which you don't even uh, want to remove it right but for now i know that yeah it's safe to remove all these things so i can just give y and then press enter and it's going to remove all the unrequired uh, packages which are not required by the you know their dependencies right so in this way you can use uh, this apt get command for installing removing or uh, you know removing the dependencies and you know there are lots and lots of flag which you can use with this apt get command but this is the you know most frequently used command with uh, this apt get so i hope you have understood the basic concept i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and bye for now